Uh, we're so grateful for them both. And uh, thank you for my journeyman, Brian Neitch. Um, we talk about not being angry. We talk about just seeing all the blessings you've given us and just putting us in an amazing mood. And we're just so, all, all the good in our life is from you, every, every inch of it. So we're humbled. We praise you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That's awesome. Israel countdown slash field trip. Oh, yeah. Um, there you go. <laughs> right off my ding, ding, ding. <laughs> 151 days. 151, baby. Let's, Two red, yellow, go. and a half kilo. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, um, yeah. So here we go. We're in. And uh, let's pray real quick for for, for uh, live tomorrow, or, or is it tomorrow? Thank you. Yeah, tomorrow. Thank so we don't soon. forget. So, Lord, we we come before you. We lift live up in the North family, and uh, we're believing this is it. This is the final step to total recovery for you to that you're continuing to working in her eye, and uh, so that her her we just believe for perfect vision. In the future, now, and as it continues to uh, to heal and get better and better and ease the pain and re just rebuke the pain and and, and uh, we just thank you, Lord, for the anointing of God to be over that surgery and over her eye and over the the whole situation. So it's peaceful, and it finally seals the deal to this whole ordeal with with her her situation and 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 how she can see. Lord, we love it. We love you. And we cast our cares of this on you. We will refi we refuse to worry about Liv and her eye and the surgery. But we were going to be believing that a hundred percent she's going to do well, perfectly. And uh, we're just waiting for good results, expecting good results. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Yeah, I'm excited Thank for this to be done. And glory to God. I appreciate it. Hey, sometimes in life, and maybe all the time, you got to grab the sword and you got to charge full steam ahead. That's right. You got to say, this scary situation, let's go. That's it. You know, this, uh, this unknowing turn around the corner. Come on, men. Let's go, guys. Yeah. Amen. We have Jesus. Let's pick up our swords. Let's charge straight ahead. Let's walk out on that platform. Let's walk into that surgery room, you know, let's walk into that church. Let's go into that grocery store with your family and say, we're living life for the Lord. We're not going to be scared. We're not going to be shy. We're not going to stay home. We're not going to mask up. Right. We're not going to get jabbed a hundred times or one. Nope. I don't know. We lay hands on the leper and they're healed. Exactly. Amen. Glory to God. Well, praise the Lord. And Luke, here we go. Luke chapter 6, part 2, verse 17. You want to start it off or you want me to? Yeah, I'll start it off. And he came down with them and stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon. Verse 18, who came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were, cru uh, were cured. Cured. That's right. Cured. Sorry. Gone. Dunzo, baby. That's right. We, like, like Bud. We pray for Bud right now. And his, he's got a uh, strep throat. We command healing over him. Be gone, disease. Uh, in Jesus' name. I meant to call him last night. I just, um, I thought he'd be better by now and slamming bars and yeah, rocking and rolling. So, yeah, look, if you're out there and you, you have sick, you're sick, or you have some disease, whatever it is, cancer, you know, sickle cell, who knows? You name it, we will, we will agree together, and we will rebuke that disease. We will command that disease to be gone. We will pray for your total healing because God works through faith. He loves us. Mm. And we will believe for you. So message us on, on Facebook, message us on Instagram, you know, whatever it is. Put, it, put your name, 
in the, in the chat board, whatever, whatever you got. We're not here just to read and study. We're here also to lay hands on the sick, to preach the gospel, whatever that looks like. Yeah, put your faith 100% in Jesus, Amen. not Dr. Fauci. Come on, baby. You know, not the doctor down the street. No, no. No, God uses them, but you got to put your faith in Jesus. That's right. Amen. Amen. Come Verse on. 19. Well, he doesn't use Dr. Fauci. Maybe the doctor down the street. <laughs> Verse 19. And all the crowd sought to touch him, for power came out from him and healed them all. Hmm. Verse 20, this is called the the Beatitudes. Never heard that word before. Yeah, it's a similar, yeah, Beatitude. It's similar to uh, the Sermon on the Mount was in, in uh, Matthew chapter 5 and 6, 7. Got it, yeah. Yeah. Perfect, verse 20. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor for yours is the kingdom of God. Mm. Look at that. So yeah. even the poor are the richest people in the world. Amen. Amen. You know, because you have the kingdom of God. You know? Uh, that's amazing. Verse 21. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you shall be satisfied. Yeah. There it is again, right? Yeah, go hunger for God. Now, now in Matthew, it elaborates a little bit. Is blessed to those who are poor in spirit, and blessed to those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Hmm. But yeah, this is a shortened version. Yes, blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Yeah, amen. That's 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 a huge one right there, Brian, because you talk about that a lot, where there's this kind of this image, and we won't go too far on this because we've talked about this a lot, but like, we're going to go up to heaven... And there's like going to be no laughter. There's going to be no playtime. There's going to be no weightlifting. There's going to be no bike riding. There's going to be no uh, enjoyment of each other. We're just going to be like, you know, on our knees praising God 24-7. That's what people say. Now, of course, we're going to be praising God all the time 24-7. Don't yeah. Get me wrong. I mean, we praise God right now. You know what I'm saying? Amen. But look, you're going to be laughing in heaven. Come on, baby. That's right. It's biblical. That's not just me saying a bunch of stuff as a human. That's That is red ink. In the Bible, you will be laughing in heaven. Amen. Yeah. Just take that in for a second. What what could be making you laughing? Play, joy, mm -hmm. love, uh, playing chess with your son and him beating you. Yeah, yeah. Golf, mm -hmm. hiking. Look, you see, you, you see, you falling down, giggling, all that. Think about it. Do you do you laugh when you're Singing worship and praising God and praying? No. Uh, I would say I would say sometimes. For sometimes, sure. yeah. But yeah, boy. but you're but you're absolutely right. This is a great point that you bring up. People need to stop thinking that God's some weird robot, and we're we're robots to Him. That we're just forced. No. He He wants us to enjoy life, man, and we're gonna do that forever. And, and also, this is so true, Brian, too, because you're right. This shows, and we already know this. We don't need this line to know this, but here it is, that God has a sense of humor. You know, you make a funny joke down here on Earth, God's going to chuckle up there. He's like, oh, that was good, Brian. I like that. Exactly. You know, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. You know, watching The Office. You know, you're watching The Office because Jesus is inside you, right? You're laughing at Michael Scott. Jesus is laughing, too. You know, if it's not a sinful joke, we'll, we'll say that, you know, but if it's an innocent, funny joke, God is laughing at the office with you, Brian Knight. Oh, yeah. hundred percent. Mm hmm. hundred percent. Yeah. When they, uh, yeah. I love it, man. What a line. What is, what is that in Greek? Blessed are you who weep. That's verse 21, chapter six of ESV. Let's look. Fascinating. Yeah. You but, shall laugh. Oh, what a line. Amen. What a nugget there. Look, it's true. Pull up my Bible here. I actually got my real Bible. Or not my real Bible. I should say my my in-the-hands feel Bible. I'm just going to make sure that's red ink there. 21. Yeah. Yeah, right there. That's red ink. 
Absolutely. Let's see who weep. Yeah, that's exactly what it says. Oh, look what it says. It says like this. This is the literal translation. Blessed are you who weep now for... Blessed are you who weep now for you shall laugh. <laughs> There's Greek. Doesn't get any more plain than that. Oh, that's that's a that's a verse right there to highlight. Um, to re not only remember yourself, but also if you're talking with somebody who has the image of heaven, that's incorrect. Be like, hey man, God laughs. You're gonna laugh. Amen. Cheer up. <laughs> mm hmm. Verse twenty two. Blessed are you when people hate you. And when they exclude you and revile you and spurn your name as evil on account of the Son of Man, rejoice in the day, in that day, and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven, for so their fathers did to the prophets. That's right. For so their fathers did to the prophets. Yeah. Yeah, that's good to know. Lincoln was playing basketball game the other day. Um and it kind of kind of got sad because no one passed to him. Mm. And you know, we had a good discussion just about life and how, you know, sometimes that happens and you know, maybe you got to look at yourself in the mirror, maybe you got to get open a little more. Here's some tips and tricks and some things we got to work on and Yeah. But thank you for speaking up and being transparent and you know, if it, if it happens again, it's not really a huge issue, to be honest. A few times, I go, you know, I'll talk to the coach, Lincoln, if it keeps happening. But it looks, it's, it's okay. You, you just got to get open more. You got to get those hands up. Yeah. You know, taking accountability. But I love that he talked to me, and he was kind of sad about it. But you know, you look at heaven, and you're like, man, God's gonna pass you the ball all the time. Yeah. Amen. You know, you're not gonna feel left out in heaven. Well, that's a good way to say it. Good way to say it. Do you want to hit 24 down? Yeah, sure. Uh, Jesus pronounces woes. Uh, woes meaning like horrors and stuff that are coming. Verse 24, but woe to you who are rich, for you have received consolation. You know, this is like a warning. Just woe to you, right? Warning. Verse 25, woe to you who are full now, for you shall be hungry. Yeah, these, look at that warning. Look, don't be full and satisfied with yourself, with your own money. And, and uh, I love this line, Brian, because you could be filthy rich, but still be hungry for God. Amen. Yeah, you can so be. Never be full. Amen. Amen. Woe to you who laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Yeah. Next time I'm at dinner, next time I'm at the Olive Garden, I lean back in my chair and I go, ah, oh, man, I'm full. I'm going to remember to say, but I'm hungry for the Lord. <laughs> and I'm going to remember chapter 6, January 17th. Come on, baby. Look, Scott Schuster on the chat board. What's up? The hitman. The hitman. Look, like Aaron said, he, he was going over with Gabby. Isaac means one who laughs or rejoices. I like it. And, and look at that, Brian. Like. Torres just in the word having these amazing discussions with his daughter Gabby. That's right. The man, yeah. Jesus, he's he's real. Come on, baby. Love it. 26. Woe to you who all, when all people speak well of you, for so their fathers did to the false prophets. Wow. Yeah. Gosh, yeah, being fake, people pleasing, yeah, bowing your knee mm -hmm. to uh people for people's approval, that's a, that's a, come on guys. Big one. We got to be careful of that. We got to stay away from that. You know, that's why Pastor Brett never does, he doesn't like to know, or he doesn't know any of the donors in the church. Mm -hmm. How much they give, who, who gives, the church takes care of all of it. Pastor Brett says, do not tell me. Yeah. Because if I'm sitting in the front row, I don't want to not say something to try to please Yeah, them. yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's I like that. I like it. I'm, I'm glad that he can afford or has some people on staff who actually take care of it for him. That's great. That's a good point. You know, the more I know about Brett Metter, the more I like him. 
Mm. I mean, I've heard you say this before, but just the more he's just a good man, you know? Oh, you say, what do you say, Brian? God says no one's good, but God. Wait, well, yeah, he's good. Now we're good because he's in us. Mm. It's not us. That's good. Come on, Brian. But he, he has the, the, he has the character of God in him. Character of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. I love it. He's a great, great dude. Verse 27. But I say to you who here love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. Very controversial statement. Whew. Love your enemies. Yeah. It, it, I would say just tough one, mm -hmm. you know, just. Yeah. Well, love you know, it, it's a. The love the, paper. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you could do this right here, holy I know, smoke. I know. We should try. We should do it. There's no excuse. Yeah. Hey, this is the workout today. Four times five, back squat, 80% of your one rep max. Ouch. Uh huh. Tough. Do it. That's what, it, you know, yes, coach, let's go. No excuses, no nothing. Yeah, just That's do it. Put on this sometimes. Is this a tough one for humans? Yes. But if we're going to be biblical, we can't cherry pick. And I'm talking to myself here. I'm not giving some speech. I'm looking at myself in the mirror on this one. Yeah. Yeah, we all we all have to look in the mirror on this one. You know, oh. 29, to one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. Oh, turn the other cheek. There it is. And for one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Now, does this mean somebody's trying to steal your your jacket, give it to him? No, that's not what it's saying. No, he, you know, no. no, he's no. God is if, saying, yeah. Go ahead. Someone's uh, someone's breaking in your house at two a.m. No, click clack. Yeah, this Sorry. doesn't say have him just shoot your family. <laughs> yeah. No, it doesn't. Say, it doesn't even say let him steal everything. That's not what it's saying, right? This is saying, you know, look, don't be v vengeful. Right? Right, right. Be loving and merciful. Come on, Brian. Yeah. And you know when you need to stand up and be strong as in the lion and shoot back, fight back, kick yeah. someone back out of the house. We know that. But not. we don't always have to be that way. We don't always have to have that attitude. You know, if someone, like if someone takes your uh, your cloak, you know, give them, give them another one and say, go ahead, take this too. You must need it. I love you. Come here. Can I hug you? Can I pray for you? Can I buy you uh, some McDonald's fries? Maybe the ice cream machine's open. We can celebrate it together. By the way, I really like ice cream from McDonald's. It's good. That's why we went last night. You know, it used to be just a dollar. Now it's like you well, know, it, it's affordable. You know, you have a family of three and everything. And you know, some ice cream places are just a scam. You know, you go out and you know, like there's one ice cream place in the mall. You know, it's all fancy dancy. I mean, you're, you're paying like seven dollars for a scoop of ice. Cream. At least, yeah. <laughs> doing here you Is know you marble go, slabs or something okay maybe the ice cream's a little more you know foofy you know more more closer to actual ice cream okay but you know i can take my family out we can have a few ice cream cones and have a grand old family time at a place like mcdonald's or go get some frosties at wendy's Heck like yeah. smiling they're all happy we just spent only like four or five dollars for all four ice creams and God is good. Amen. I mean, come on. Get get out of here with your $7 ice cream. Now, there's a time and place for everything. You know, sometimes in the mall, I get soft. Okay, let's go spend 20 bucks on ice cream and go eat it outside. And kids can run around the turf field there. And yep. Okay, whatever. You know, uh, luxury tax, as I like to call it. As Will Hawkinson says sometimes. You know, you spend a little. It's like going to the fair. Oh, you just go into the fair with your kids and your family going, I'm taking a hit on the wallet, but guess what? I'm not going to care. Yep. And we're going to have fun. Forget about it. Forget about it. You yeah. just go to a movie theater. I got a hundred dollar bill here. Yeah. This is going to vanish with tickets and popcorn and candy and everything. Good mwah, goodbye. hundred dollar bill. Yep. Dig in though. Yeah, you're right. I love it. Soft serve McDonald's. Mm, it hits hard. Now, if you're Torres and you got the monthly membership, we were literally at the movie theater, what was it, last week watching the Aquaman 2 for Lincoln's birthday. And they were advertising the monthly pass where you pay monthly and then you can watch unlimited movies. And I go, that's what Torres and stuff have. Yeah. We have that here. We have that here. I, I never I never gotten it. 
you know, if if you're going, I mean, two movies per month takes care of it. That's it. You go to two movies in a month, it buys the pass. Anything after that's free. That's pretty good, actually. Go to movies, it's a good deal. Yep. That's not a bad idea. Maybe I'll think about it. Think about it. All right, let's keep going. Uh, Verse 30, uh, to everyone who begs you, begs from you, and from one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. As you wish that others would do to you, do to them also. The golden rule. In the King James, it says, do unto others as they would have them do unto you. Yeah. You know, a, a scenario, and I know sometimes I just get fixated on this one scenario, but we've talked about this before, Brian. It's like if someone breaks in my house and they're trying to hurt my family, yes, I will shoot and kill them. And I, I imagine that they're in my living room bleeding out and they're dying. Do I kick them? Do I scream at them? Do I yell at them? Do I say F you as I'm calling the cops? No. I will get on my knees. I will put my hands upon them somewhere that's not bloody. And I will pray for them saying, dear Jesus, I hope this man is saved. Yes. Yeah. No, I, I, I pray Tell that he doesn't die or I pray that. Um, right. Well, yeah, exactly. Witness to him right there. Call out to Jesus guy. Whatever your name is. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Do you believe in Jesus? Oh, what do you mean, man? Yeah. Do you believe in Jesus? Preach the good word to him as as he has a few minutes there on your living room floor. That's love. That's compassion. You want that man to go to eternal life. Well, you just try to break in and kill your whole family. Why would you do that, John? Because that's what Jesus says to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, man. Right there. Tell him. Say, I forgive you. I forgive you. Don't be. You don't need to be angry. Oh, that's right. good. That's good. Good practice. 32. If you love those who love you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love you. And if you do good to to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? Now, of course, Jesus says, keep doing that. Keep loving people who love you. Keep doing good to you. Keep, keep, keep doing good to those who do good to you. But let's see what he's, he's digging into. For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. But here's the kicker right here. Verse 35. Jesus says this, but love your enemies. Ooh, ooh. What a, what a, what a, a shot across the bow, right, for us to, to wake up. Love your enemies. Look, that's talking about your neighbor. Come on. Right? That's talking about your, your family member who's mean, evil to you. Love them. That doesn't mean you have to lay down and let them just destroy you, but love them, help them, think about them. Right? Give them the benefit of the doubt. Keep on forgiving them. Love them. Love your enemies, 35, and do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. And your reward will be great. Expecting nothing. That's a big word there, too. Expecting nothing in return. And your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High. Amen. For he is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Look at that. God is kind to the ungrateful and and the evil. Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful. Yeah, look, if you have a business where you loan out money, fine. But you know what? You can you know make the, make your money, whatever. But don't you can change your mind about things. You don't have to be so mean about it. It's just money. Mm-hmm. Be yeah. merciful. Look at that. I love this. We 37. should be kind and merciful. Yeah. Amen. You want me to hit thirty-seven? Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Ooh. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Mm-hmm. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure. Pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Yeah. Come on, baby. Yeah, that's good. 38th famous, uh, famous in the King James. It's uh, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Will men give unto your bosom? Yeah. Mm. God will have m- people give into your life. All right, let's wow. go. Verse 39, he also told them a parable. 
Quote, can a blind man lead a blind man? Hmm. Will they not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above his teacher, but everyone, when he is fully trained, will be like his teacher. Hmm. Why do you seek the speck that is in your brother's eye? There we go. But do not notice the log that is in your own eye. Come on now. We talk about this a lot. That's a great one. 42. How can you say to your brother, brother, let me take out the speck that is in your eye when you yourself do not see the log that is in your own eye? I know it. First, first John North, first Brian and Torres and Scott, everybody in the world, first take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take out the speck. That is in your brother's eye. Amen. That's the, look, that's good. <laughs> Glory to God. It's so, it's so true. There's so many times we know everybody. Look, we don't have to tell people. Everybody knows you have your own problems. Why are you trying to always point everybody else's problems out? Mm. Fix yourself first. And then you can bring it up to them gently, mercifully, kindly. Yeah. Amen. Uh, verse 43 for no good trees for no good tree bears bad fruit nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit for each tree is known by its own fruit mm. for figs are not gathered from th- thorn bushes nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush a good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good and the evil person out of evil treasure produces evil for out of the abundance of the heart is mouth speaks that's right man this is a powerful statement right here look what's in your heart comes out so if you're just spewing out evil hate anger critical words always judging well you this and you that and blah blah blah, blah. what's in your heart buddy man, evil that's good. is evil so- in there yeah, and then you're letting people win. Why would you let somebody turn your walk bad? Yeah, exactly. I don't want that. Yeah. Man, that is a, you know what? That is something to really um, to think about. When, when you are looking at other people and you're talking to other people and you're just evil and hateful, you literally are letting the enemy and the other people change your... Yeah. You're, let, you're letting a human or humans influence you in a negative way. Why would you ever give power to a human for that? That's why right. you're like, no, you're not going to live in my mind. I'm going to cut you out of my life or, you know, yeah, uh, i got to move on with the people that I love and care about and continue preaching the word of God. And you're not going to be victorious, you know, upon my head. And that's it, man. And that's why we have joy. And, you know, there's other people out there with just so much hate. You see it on Twitter and in politics and da, 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 da. You know, I know that's truly how you're living your life. It's just an absolute anguish and anger. Oh, man. S- stop that. It's horrible. It's horrible. Don't let. Yeah. Don't let other people. I don't say even win, but don't let the enemy. <laughs> That's how he trips people up. And then all of a sudden, guess what? You're bitter. Oh, that's it, man. That's it. Listen to the words of Jesus. Last paragraph. Here we go. Verse uh, Luke six. Yeah. You want to hit 46 and slam dunk it? We'll do. Why do you call me Lord, Lord and not do what I tell you? Is Jesus the Lord of your life? Well, are you listening and obeying? Verse Verse 47. That's a tough one. He's because he's so true. Everyone who comes to me and hears my words and does them, I will show you what he is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. By the way, that's the rock of Jesus. That's the rock of the word. Mm -hmm. And when a flood arose, the stream broke against that house and could not shake it because it had been well built. Hey, remember when Donnie read this? Mm, yeah. Back in... Uh, I remember. Well, we were in the Old Testament 
and I, I think he skipped ahead and just quoted this, read this uh, on one of the studies. Remember, he was like, and when though. He, he was getting into it, man, with his with his Donnie Shankle voice. I, I love like, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, brother. He was like, hey, you know, and and he's like, a, and when the flood arose, and st- the stream broke. Wow. He but he was getting, he was getting loud with it. I know. You know, and the stream broke. It will not shake. <laughs> oh my golly, gee, let's yeah. go. Whew. He can bring a different a different tone. I love it. Yeah, we should get him back on. In May, by the way, I'm going up to. I might see him because we're going to um, Big uh, Grand Canyon. Oh, sweet! Yeah, me, Jen, and the kids. Cool. Yeah, cool. yeah. Hit up Donnie. That'd be great. Yeah, she's family lives in the same city. Um, hi, Jen. Forty nine. Here we go. Because it was had been well built. That's right. Well built, man. Remember that weightlifter. Mm-hmm. Forty nine. But the one who hears and does not do them. This is the words of Jesus. The one who hears and does not do them is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the stream broke against it, immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. Now, look, that stream could be anything, by the way. It could be enemies. It could be family coming against you. It could be your finances. It could be your work. It could be problems that outside, the car, the neighbor, the grass is too tall. I can't clean my kitchen fast enough. Whatever it is, don't let it ruin your home, your life, everything. Yeah. That's why we stay. That's why we're in the word, John. It keeps us solid. We're in the word. It keeps us grounded. It's secure. So no matter what comes our way, a sickness, an accident, disease, heartache, whatever you think it might be, problems, failure. Guess what? You can stand back up because Jesus is the rock that we live on. Oh, amen. Brian Nige, come on, baby. Yeah. So, <laughs> Let's yeah. go. Look at Stuart. That's right. We need Donnie. <laughs> yeah, Stuart Young. Good morning, brother. Man, we got Stuart on here and Torres and Jen Ruth. We have a great morning study here. But, that, but that's, you know... When I plug the pod, uh, the study a lot, I like to say Bible study goes live at this time. Join us on the chat board as we study, as we read, and then I always end it by saying as we walk and live. I know it. You do. Breathe word. And I think that's so key to say that for myself, for everybody else as well, like to kind of remind myself as well as I'm typing, we're not just going to study – we're not just going to read and understand and take it in. We got to take it in and apply it. Yes. Let's let's walk it. Let's live it. Yeah. Look, you you say it. You, when you say stuff like keep your shorts sharp, short sword sharp, path narrow. Yeah, right. Walk the narrow path, keep your sword sharp. That's exactly what you're saying too. Look, stay on the tr- on the track. Love your enemies. Forgive those who come against you. Let yep. Jesus be the rock. He is the path. Amen, right? amen. Yeah, glory to God. I love it. Um, well, I got to go soon to get the kids ready for school. Yeah, yeah, school right on. Action, we got to get the kids ready, and I walk them to school, and I'm going to the school today to eat lunch with them. Nice, nice. I've got that plan for the day, and uh, so many other things. And what a day. I think we're going out to Red Robin tonight. Yum. It's so fan. Yeah, we love Bro, Red we Robin. love Red Robin in this house. With the uh I tell Lincoln, the red balloons. Oh yeah, that's they love the red balloons when uh, we walk. So. They have they have the um okay, I know it's a hamburger joint. They have a uh they have a big salad there too. It's called the um Oh, are they have good salads there? The, it's something with the A. The the Yeah, so Albuquerque. good. Like albacore salad? Yeah. I think I've had it before. Um, yeah, and look, it's not like I'm, it's trying to be healthy by eating that salad. It's still like 1,600 calories or something. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Avo- the avocado. Oh, avocado. Yeah, avocado. It's so good. But anyway, go get your go get your Red Robin. Look, they have endless fries, John. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, no, I know, baby. 
dip them in the ranch. Let's go. Forget about it. Hey, also they have that awesome blossom kind of thing. That the, the the little mound of fr- of if you like onion rings. But I digress. Anyway, we'll have a blessed day. Spooky put it in the beginning of the track too. Oh, he's right. He did. He did. We were listening to that in Will Hawkinson's uh, Range Rover, and uh, we were bumping into Arnold. Just had a blast in with that spooky mix. By the way, we're we're doing that road trip again. Oh, cool. Yes. Yeah. I love that. You're welcome to go. We're going to pick Bud up. We're going to pick Bud up in Louisville, Kentucky, and just have fun. Anyway. I love it. You're I love invited. it. You're invited. Yes, man. All right. Well, let's. Uh, I prayed it in if you want to pray it out, Brian. Absolutely. Let's go next. We are in Texas. Father, we love you. We come before you. Yeah. We are here now. Thank you for the blessing that you've given us over our lives and our family and our, our friends and the men around us and, and uh, the, the, you know, the women in our lives. How amazing of a life we have. We just bow before you, Lord. Oh, my. What a wonderful day. What a wonderful time. Family. My what? kids, Lincoln, Le- Liv, Levi, Jess, Jen, Kate, Reagan, Brian, Nathan, the word, it's our rock. You're our rock. And we continue to commit to stand on you and we will not fall because why? You, not us. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And we're expecting good things after that surgery. Try to deal with Thank anyway. you, man. Thank you so much, Brian. Yeah. Beautiful prayer. Wow. Amen. What a way to start Wednesday. Amen. Amen. What a day. Jesus, today's the day the Lord has made. Hey, happy Easter. Merry Christmas. We'll see you guys back tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. for Chapter 7.